Okay, my name's Richard Hartley. I'm a lecturer in chemical biology at the University of Glasgow. Now, what fascinates my group is are the mitochondria. Now, the mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. That is, they convert the energy, they convert the food that you eat into energy for your whole body, actually. Not only are they the powerhouses, but they're communication hubs. And those communication hubs can go wrong and misbehave. In particular, that can happen during heart attack and after heart attack. So what we do is we design small molecules that go straight for the mitochondria, deliver a drug that deals with the problems of, uh, of misbehaving mitochondria. For example, when you have a heart attack, helping you recover. That's it. Hello, I'm Yulia Ravina and I'm a PhD student at the University of Glasgow. Uh, I work in the psychology uh, department and uh, I investigate the visual system in the human brain. I put people in an MRI scanner and show them pictures and look at the brain activity in their visual areas. And I've got a 3D printed brain. This is what my brain looks like. So cool, huh? Um, so we look at how memory, expectations and previous experience uh, influences how you perceive pictures and how environmental context also influences how you perceive um, ambiguous objects in the environment. Hello, my name is Isabel Vincent and I work at uh, Glasgow University in the Wellcome Trust Centre of Molecular Parasitology. So parasitology concerns parasites and uh, the parasites that I'm interested in are in tropical countries like in Africa, in the Middle East, in, uh, in uh, South America. And one particular parasite that I'm interested in is called uh, trypanosomes, and they cause a disease called human African trypanosomiasis, or sleeping sickness. And there are not many drugs to cure this disease, so what I like to do is try to find new drugs to cure the disease. And what I do is I take the drugs and I put them on the parasites in the laboratory and measure the changes that happen inside the parasites. And I do this using a machine called a mass spectrometer. And this measures all the small molecules inside the parasite. And in that way, I try and find out how the drugs work on parasites so that we can make new drugs to cure this disease. 